approaching a week since Thanksgiving, and now you're getting word from those you celebrated with that they're sick. So is it inevitable that you're going to get sick as well? How long before you're going to be out of the woods? By its nature, the Thanksgiving holiday and everything that comes with it is close contact stuff at the dinner table or sitting around catching up or even shopping together. We are all in the process sharing the same air and all that comes with it. And now they're sick and you assume COVID. It could be the flu, but it could just be plain old pneumonia, bronchitis, whooping cough is no fun either. Um, there could be many things. So it's like, do you know what you have? It's like, oh, it's just a cough. It's just a lot of people will say it's just a cough. All are possibilities, says Dr. Randy Peters at AHN, which is why testing for COVID is critical, as well as the timing. Uh, the test is not reliably accurate until day five or day six. If you test on day one and you're positive, good enough. You know you're positive. Assuming your now sick fellows celebrator confirms that they have COVID. How many days from my last exposure to them mm -hmm. do I need to worry about it until I know I'm out of the woods? 10 days. You should wear a high quality mask. The CDC says high quality mask. For me, that means an N95, but it can be any good tight fitting mask that fits well. Um, and you should wear one for 10 days. So what's the sweated out period if they have the flu? The incubation period for the flu is really only about three to four days. So chances are you go a whole week, you go two incubation periods. Now nah, you don't have to worry about it. How about if it's confirmed RSV? A week would be pretty reasonable. And if they have a cold, you'll know if you caught it. For the vast majority of people, it's going to be within three to four days. Um, you're going to have if you have you'll have relatively mild symptoms and will go away about as quickly. But Dr. Peters adds that a cold can actually linger for seven to 10 days or be over in just 24 hours. Everybody's different. Yeah, I mean, should you proactively take something to ward off what might be coming? Because you always you feel a tickle in your throat or your nose right. starts to twitch. You're like, OK, I got to get something. Well, a lot of people believe in a heavy dose of vitamins yeah. that that will ward it off. Dr. Peters says the vitamins are good if you have vitamin deficiency, but they probably aren't going to do you any good to ward off an illness. Treat it when it actually happens, if it happens at all, and maybe, hey, you'll dodge the bullet. Yeah, so chugging a glass of orange juice is not really going to help me out. But it certainly <laughs> sounds good, Robert. <laughs>